Hi folks, this is Danny from Bradley James Classics introducing quite a recognisable classic car to you. It's a VW Beetle from 1967, November 1967. We've literally just had this car in today and I'm going to give you a little walk around so you can uh, see what it's like. I've just been driving it this morning and uh, I've got to say I don't think I've ever offered uh, a model quite like this and the little clue is going to come from that badge there an automatic stick shift yeah interesting brilliant goes really well some autos don't really sort of cut it from this era but for those who just want something different and rare then I've got a feeling this might be the one for you now I'm never an expert on VW paint shades, but something tells me this one's called like a guinea blue. I just seem to remember it called a guinea blue. I'm sure someone on the YouTube channel will correct me. Um, the car itself is from, I think I mentioned November 1967. The car itself is solid in all the right places. And you've got to be very careful when you're buying these Beetles because uh, sadly they do suffer um, often chronically with corrosion issues, but this one is very solid in all the right areas. It's been fully checked. It's been through our workshop this morning. Starts on the button, it drives really well. There's no issues, uh, nothing on it doesn't work that I'm aware of. And it will come with a 12 month MOT for a lucky new owner. Now, um, of this era, um, you could still buy 13 and 1200 cc's. Thankfully, this one's a 1500 cc, which does make a bit of difference to the drivability and I guess with the automatic gearbox you need as much grunt as you possibly can muster um, also it was around the sort of body year I've got a feeling it was around 65 with Beetles they started adding quite a percentage of extra glass um, by having larger front rear and actually even side glass so they are a lot lighter and area to drive uh, the sort of mid-60s onwards Beetle and it was around I believe 60 mid it was sort of late to middle 60s again um, in, in that era where you started getting the larger engines so I believe you're getting the best of both worlds there better brakes and something else that happened in the sort of mid 60s is that they they had a an anti-roll bar on the front and they had a hydraulic steering damper. Now, these are only small things, but they make quite a difference to the drivability. Um, something that you would have noticed, which isn't standard on a UK right-hand drive uh, Beetle. I personally think they're very attractive. The extra bit of chrome. Now, these uh, are American bumpers uh, with the extra rail on the top and these big overriders, and it certainly does add to the chrome percentage that uh, a beetle can get uh, and I particularly think they look rather smart and they're quite smart wheels um, and though these sort of aluminium rims with the mini light style um, wheels really do seat these are quite an expensive option and you can see through that uh, wheel that there's your disc brake Good tyres all round, quality tyres, uh, Firestones, um, and these do improve the road holding and personally I think it does improve the overall appearance of the car. Usually you'd have steel wheels with just a chrome hubcap. Um, I'm going to get up close to the bodywork, really close, and I will point out any imperfections um, because the car itself does present very, very nicely. It does look the part. People have uh, loved it who've seen it, but as with any car, especially ones which are over 50 years old like this one, there's going to be some blemishes on the paintwork that I'm going to get in close and show you. So I think you get the gist of the external. I'm going to get a bit closer, and at this point, I'm going to point out that period roof rack, um, which uh, quite an expensive uh, extra. And if you get up to it closely, you can see it's in fantastic condition, uh, and it really does suit this car. And uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's a few bobs worth on its own. Let's uh, well while we're here, let's have a quick look at the bodywork. So I'm going to start with this front wing. And if I'm getting close there. I've got a little bit of paint missing here. 
but generally bright and shiny all over with a good coat of wax. If I get close to this front headlamp, I can see the signs of a little bit of bubbling here. The bonnet looks all very good. Uh, and similarly, something just around the top of the headlamp here. Nothing too devastating. I'm getting in close to see it. Um, otherwise, this front wing is very good. Um, just under the just under the windscreen there, I've got a little bit of paint missing here. A bit of a bit of grottiness there, but again, uh, there's no holes there. Nothing too devastating. This door is in good order. Uh, right down in this little corner, there's needs a little touch up of paint here, but again, doesn't look too terrible. Rear wings in good order. In fact, the rear wing's really good. What's quite important to look at in these beetles, so uh, see if I can get my finger on it. This is the gutter rail. They can suffer badly through there. This one looks pretty solid. She looks quite nice through the back, very clean and tidy back end. Good rear panel and boot. Uh, and then up over the roof, she looks good. While I'm down at the business end, if I remember rightly, I should find an engine in here. And there we go. Uh, they're a very nice DIY prospect to work on because everything you need to do for regular maintenance is very accessible here. Things like the distributor and the car presses right in front of you, the topping up of engine oil, replacing the fan belt, coil sits up here, air filter in the middle. Um, actually, quite a joy to work on. And I've got a Volkswagen Owners Club of Great Britain sticker. So maybe someone recognises this car, one I've owned in the past. Um, I love the period number plates. And there's something about that stick shift badge I'm liking. Um, car does present really well. We're gonna have a look inside next. And uh, I'm taken back to my youth as I see the furry seat covers from the 1970s. Um, they are masking seats which are original. Um, it's in a reasonable order. I mean, as you can imagine, there's a bit of wear there. Uh, and this driver's seat's actually in pretty good nick. Um, so I thought I'd pull that furry seat cover off and show you. The rear seat, uh, the rear seats, I've got uh, the uh, period uh, Huggy Bear type uh, seat covers on, but oh, still quite supportive, not collapsed. And this is what I love, originality. Um, and that steering, bur uh, steering wheel is the correct one. A lovely Blaupont uh, period radio, which has been superseded by a rather modern one under here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's all wired up and working, but I noticed it was there. And actually in the back here, on this rear panel, there's some speakers uh, for some sounds. Um, all this switch gear is working as it should. Uh, however, there is an electric um, uh, windscreen washer motor. Um, and she is in good condition through here. I have a feeling this one probably had the seat covers because the bottom half of this seat is in very good order that's its original correct seat and this one at the top has suffered a bit of damage hence i think a set of seat covers but also i think uh, a little bit of uh, genuine wear and tear isn't a isn't a crime in these uh, and while we're chatting about this car we've uh, had a look at it on the ramp this morning and it's solid in all the right areas um, which is things like the uh, heater channels and seals which run right through very solid floor pans underneath the front driver's wheel all of that is nice and solid um, the headline is in generally good order I've got a bit of a nick here which would possibly glue up but it is what it is I don't like to uh, try and mask uh, any issues with cars I like to keep them honest and as they are and have a look at that pedal down there you will see there's no clutch. That's what the auto stick looks like. So um, this car's super clean when it come in. So you really are seeing it as is. We will, as I say, put a 12 month MOT on it. We will be uh, doing a PDI to make sure it's uh, 
safe and in a good roadworthy condition when it leaves us, like all our vehicles. We do own a garage here as well at Bradley James Classics. And uh, I'll be delighted to uh, show you this car, go for a drive. You will fall in love with it because it does ooze charm with these little period accessories. I've got a feeling the automatic uh, feature will be um, something which will stand this car in good stead for rarity in the future. I mean, it's rare now. And I think the price point we have it in at is very sensible. I mean, if you really wanted to uh, touch up a few areas of bodywork, maybe look at um, some of the minor defects in the interior, I think you could easily add thousands to the price of this car. However, we're not about maximising every single car that comes through. We've got it in at this condition. We're very happy to offer it in this condition. And I think you'll get a comparative bargain compared to what the car could be worth with a bit of extra spend. Now it's actually displaying, let's have a look, 34,793. Now we can never be sure how many times that may have gone round the clock and we're not can never be sure how many engines it may have had over the years. So I can only ever just tell you as a guide. I mean the body work, I wouldn't be surprised if it's original because it's in such good condition. But I also know that the previous owner had spent a lot of money on the car and maintained it to a very good standard. Uh, for example, a, a recent complete brake overhaul um, to keep it starting every morning and using it for a regular commute. So um, I hope this little walk around video has proven useful. I'm bound, I'm bound to have missed out some information. Uh, and if you do require any further information, please get in touch. But I think this is a nice example of a late 60s Beetle, uh, the 1500cc, which I think was about a 53 brake horsepower engine. Um, I think I touched on the fact that because it's a later 60s car, we've got things like uh, front disc brakes being a 1500 and the anti-roll bar and the hydraulic steering damper add to the drivability of these cars in my opinion. I think I've touched on the fact that we've got these American uh, bumpers, uh, a lot more chrome and those overriders, a nice period roof rack is included in the sale and these rather smart alloy wheels I think really set the car off. So folks, she's in stock now, if you'd like to come and see her, take her for a drive, please get in touch and I will be delighted to show you around this lovely old Beetle. That's Danny at Bradley James Classics, signing out.